this is beeswax from our beehives and Kim is gonna put it to use and we will get back to you and show you what she does. Hey guys, look what I got. I told Perry I needed some beeswax because I wanted to try to make some, uh, like an herbal salve. Um, and so he brought me this. I'm gonna melt it down in a low temperature oven and then I'm gonna let it cool and break it into smaller pieces and see how much we get. So this is all of the beeswax that that made. I did pour it into this lid and let it cool. I broke it into these pieces and it's not gonna be enough for the amount of salve I'm making. So I'm probably gonna have to get Perry to bring me some more. But I started making my oil. So a couple days ago, I walked the farm and I picked plantain, dandelions, and comfrey. I put it in here. Oh, I did dry it first. Um, you could dry it in the oven on a low temperature, like it as low as your oven will go. Um, I ended up doing it in the car. I put some newspaper in the back of my car and put a single layer of everything I harvested and left it until it dried and it was crunchy. Um, so after I did that, then I put it in this crock pot, covered it with oil and put it on warm. Um, you don't want to overheat uh, those things because it will um, lose its medicinal properties. So once this is done, I will strain it with some cheesecloth. I will add some beeswax and essential oils and I will have a herbal salve for my family. Hey guys, well this is the final product. This is the amount of product that I got from a dip size crock pot. I did use olive oil in the crock pot um, and I set it to warm for three days. Um, I unplugged it at night, but after the three days, I just wrung out through a cheesecloth as much oil as I could get out and then I added the beeswax and melted that in on a low temperature. And I added two essential oils. I used tea tree and lavender and then poured it into these containers, cooled it completely before I put the lids on. And now we're gonna have salve for a long time.